Okay, this is like the third time I've done this now. You're probably watching this because Nate wants you doing some black screens. So as always, you take the battery out. And then for this, we take those four pads off, which cover the screws. to have fingernails. Then sometimes those, usually it's those screws near the, the hinges that, that are difficult. So you can either grab a pencil and lift it up from the head, or you can grab a, one of those magnets out of the desk and just run it over the top and pull it out. The tricky part, kind of. You're gonna kind of uh, get your fingers, lift that top of the bezel up and pry up. You just put your thumbs on the back plate and pull it up, pull the bezel up. The clips on the bezel to the back plate that'll pull out, like on the edges. And get pulled outward. So once you get that, you can grab a paper clip and start going around and prying those off. A lot of time, uh, a lot of times those plastic clips break off. And that's not a big deal. On this, on this bottom side, you can grab a smaller paper clip so you can kind of wedge it in there more easily if you don't have fingernails.
just get that bottom out you can grab a paper clip whatever you have and there's a, a little circuit board in there and you want to kind of lift that up between the the bezel and the back plate or the put that paper clip between the bezel and that board to hold it up because it'll it'll hook on the bezel when you're trying to pull it up as shown here so you stick something down there to kind of hold it back and then situate it so you can pull the bezel up and flip it around over the keyboard and and now there's going to be a speaker wire on that one side of the bezel so be aware of that and then there's four screws on the LCD bracket one in each corner It's nice to have something to kind of pry the or lift the LCD up. And then once you get it up, or before you it's past like 45 degrees or so, you want to kind of lift the back end up so it pulls the the brackets away from the the little pegs that hold it in place, so it doesn't hinge up on that, otherwise it'll pull the ribbon excessively. And then here you can see the culprit of the black screen. Just that ribbon cable. Due to either defective tape or poor design, I'd say poor design. And then start scraping away at that tape. And then just kind of pull it upwards away from it. Away from the LCD. It should pull out pretty easily. And then, like that, with your thumb on the cable and your uh, forefinger on the tape, just kind of set it down flat, just to make sure the the contacts are in the in that cradle. And then, just pull it up tightly. Take some force. get either the packing tape or the duct tape uh, three or four inches of it then start over the cable and seal it down kind of make sure you keep it tight and pull it pull it so it's holding the ribbon in place for sure and then just kind of check to make sure that there's no no gaps or anything if there is 
noticeable gap and then reseed it again. But it should be okay. And now reassembly. I'm gonna put the screen down and then make sure that bottom circuit board is in place. There's a peg that it sits in, but sometimes it doesn't stay down flat and nice. So now there's LCD screen or bracket screws are good to go back in. Oh, and before this point, if you if you want, you can uh, plug the laptop into a charger and boot it up. And if the screen comes on, you're good to go. Put it back together. If not, then check that. Check the cable again and see if you can reseed it. And if nothing works, then. The laptop sucks because they don't already. And then here, just make sure that circuit board is in. And then press the bezel back over and squeeze those clips. Four screen bezel screws in. And just stick those pads back on and close it up, stick the battery back yeah. in, and then there's the the hinges, there's the kind of wire covers, you just want to pop back down. Do you remember like, like all the motions and stuff, and you know, you guys, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'll probably leave that video audio on for entertainment purposes.